and I love you so. People ask me how, how I've lived till now. I tell them I don't know. Oh my! Okay, you wait for your turn. Just raise your hand any time, okay, and wait. Yeah. Yeah, you, you give whomever is next to you first, and then you go move forward. Please talk right into the microphone like this, okay? We were friends in India in 86, and I wondered if I may visit you also. India? Yeah, on a tour we meditated together for four months. I don't understand. We meditated with, with Master. With some India? She meditated with you on a tour in India in 1986, Master. Tour in 1986. Yeah, 1986. Say, we said. She knew you in India. Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. So what now? I wondered if I may visit you with the people you invited. The last lunch together. <laughs> 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 and what? She can have lunch with me. Lunch with me. <laughs> with the other in India, 1986. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Yeah. Why is that? Because she met you in 1986 in India? Really? Where was it? On a tour. Before you went on a Buddhist pilgrimage. Before what? You left us on a Buddhist pilgrimage. <laughs> I walked with you. <laughs> I don't remember you, honestly. But okay, let's have a lunch. All right. <laughs> you know, we all change. We all changed so much. I hardly recognized her when she sat there all sagely and, you know, wise and wisdom and gray hair. It looks like a saint over there. I nearly bowed at her feet. <laughs> okay, if I don't remember some of you or any of you, please forgive me. I normally just brush my way around, but I don't recognize faces. And some people I met many times, I don't remember as well. I'm very bad with memories now. You know, I don't remember where I stay, what the address is of all the centers in the whole world, except Meoli. And even Meoli, I forget now, because I haven't been there for a year or more. I forgot the address. What is the name and the P.O. box, or don't ever ask me. If you want to go to Meoli, don't ask this person, or go anywhere to any center, never ask me, because I don't remember anything. I don't remember any of the telephone numbers, you know? B12. Yeah, B12. <laughs> Red amateur. <laughs> okay, okay. I remember that, doctor. But since you're out of your practice now, don't you dare tell me what to do. <laughs> okay, next one. <laughs> yeah, okay. When I first started doing the Kuan Yin Method, I've had like a really, really bad experiences. Mm -hmm. I sit, every time I would sit, I'd have... Uh, people behind me, I could feel yes. like trying to stab me and uh -huh. kill me. Uh -huh. And I can't, I can't keep my eyes closed all uh -huh. the time because I have to keep opening them to check the room. Uh -huh. Even though I know nobody's in there, I still yes. feel like there's somebody in there. Yeah. And when I meditate alone, I, it's really difficult, especially with the Kuan Yin, because yes. I feel really vulnerable. Scared, yeah. yeah. And it's faded some. I've been meditating for about six months. Mm -hmm. But now it's like I have a lot of violent images in my head. What, what? violent images uh -huh. just flashing your head yeah uh -huh. and i feel like you know when you do the meditation you should be peaceful and quiet mm -hmm. but it's not happening for me mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is this always going to be this way i mean no no just, it won't be just it will fade away as yeah. just like the other one okay. this is your past connection with all this violent stuff and don't watch more violent movies okay okay and don't read violent uh, books or things like that try to avoid so that you don't tune back in with the, the past again and okay. then have them. But they will fade away very soon. Okay. Uh, the most will be three months. Okay. Okay? Thanks. Be patient. Not everybody has this, but some people are so, so, so connected with the past heavy uh, um, involvement with karma, with have violent karma or something, so it might happen again. It takes time to wash it out. Okay? It was so bad for a while, I had to sit in a corner behind uh -huh. wall, so that just so I know, yes, and yes. I'd still be looking. Okay, okay. So next time you put the master picture all around you, okay, huh? and have okay. light on if you're okay. scared. Okay. And until you, you're more calm, and then you don't have to do that again. And you still can continue. 
Okay. Or you can put the tape running in the background, not in the back of your <laughs> ground, but you know, like low Surround. volume. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Or meditate with someone else with you okay. if you can. Yeah. Well, when I first did it, I did it with three people: her uh -huh. and my okay. friend and me, and it was still really bad. Yeah. I'd always think it was them. No, no, no. It's not them. <laughs> it's not them. It's not I know. Them. Of course not. But what I mean is, when you have company, you have less fear. Yeah, I have a lot less fear when I when I meditate in a room and I know people are in the other rooms. Mm -hmm. Like if I'm in a house, it's really bad when I'm alone. Mm -hmm. Mostly when I'm alone. Okay, but I really appreciate your effort in such a circumstance and with such a fearful atmosphere around you. You still continue. We really, really. It was really, it was worse before I meditated. That's why I think it helps because before I got initiated, I've always been really paranoid and really scared. Uh -huh. But it is fading a little bit. Okay, that's good. It's good that you do that and you continue. We really <laughs> respect your effort, huh? Don't we? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you put other people to shame. You know those people who don't have any bad experience and still don't meditate. Huh? <laughs> okay, next one. Okay. Oh my God. I'm very sorry that all of you have to wait so long, but I appreciate your patience. Yes. Hello, Master. Thank you. Thank you for your love. Yes. My question is, uh, I have a hard time forgiving myself uh, because of my past. I take drugs, uh, smoke cigarettes, uh, abortion, many bad things. So. Uh, it's. I think it's stopping me from uh, going further. You know. Mm. I should meditate more. <laughs> what shall I do? You know the answer, huh? Mm. You know the answer. Yeah. But past is past. Forgive yourself, huh? Every one of us commits blunders sometimes in our life. You know, especially when young, we commit youthful mistakes. It's okay. It's okay. Better than you stay there forever. You quit already. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, mm -hmm. I should be proud of yourself. Oh. That you're courageous. Oh. You quit the bad habit. How many people can do that? Okay, be proud. Okay, thank you. Mm. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Uh, Master, in Costa Rica, there are many inmates in prison who are practicing the convenient method, mm. they want to know you. Uh, could you send them some candies? Oh, sure. Bring Thank some you. to them. Thank yeah? you. Ask the uh, sister, give them some candies to bring home. Okay. Thank you very much. Ah. Don't ask too many. We, <laughs> we don't have enough people to go out and buy candies for everybody to bring home to everybody. <laughs> yes? Uh, okay. Yeah. Please wait. Yes. Merry Christmas, Master. I'm from Singapore. Mm. I have a friend who um, talk bad about you. Is it good to avoid people who talk bad about you? Well, if you cannot uh, convince them that I'm not so bad, <laughs> <laughs> that I'm good, then you better yeah, avoid them. Okay. Mm? Thank you. You're welcome. Just avoid them, but don't judge them. You know, they don't understand. Sure. Uh, Master, I wanted to ask you, when I met a messenger in Europe, he did an initiation and he said you should never sleep on the left-hand side of your body, always sleep on your back or the right. Mm -hmm. And he was very convincing. He says if you sleep on the left-hand side... It would be better that you sleep on the right side, but it doesn't have to be always. Because when you sleep, you turn around anyhow. You know? uh, because I have a problem with my right shoulder, so I can't uh -huh. always sleep on the right and lying oh. on my back is not very comfortable all the time. Oh. So sometimes I turn over on the left, but since yes, he said that, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Whenever you can, if you can, uh, sleep on the right. I tell you what, this is also medically uh, very logical, you know. The stomach will press on the heart yeah. when you sleep and they give you nightmares and, you know, heart problems, pressure too. Mm -hmm. After not you eat and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Another thing is also when I meditate, I get very tensed up. I don't know why. And there was a time when I, I felt I was progressing very well, and mm -hmm. especially in my sound, I, w I was getting a lot of vibration, and almost as though something was going to break, and then I stopped myself. Ah. And uh, I spoke to a messenger about this, and since I spoke to her, that stopped, that vibration's gone, and I've slowed down in my progress. Mm. Uh, but 
also since then, I'm finding I'm very, very tense when I meditate. I sort of tense up completely, and when I stop, I, I'm almost in pain, you know, my... Oh, why is that? What I don't, are you I don't, up for? I don't know. No, relax. I just get here. Okay, next time, just don't think you're meditating. Just sit there and relax. Snore if you want. <laughs> hmm? Okay. Well, what is this? what is the reason? I yeah. I don't know. Okay, I think you expect the the result to come back or something like that. Maybe. Okay, don't okay. expect it will come. The more you expect, the less you will have. Just relax and forget about. It. Put everything down. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. Just remember here lovingly. That's it. That's all you have to do. And if the experience comes, fine. If it does not come, fine. You have to have that attitude. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah. Hello, Master. I just want to thank you very much for allowing me to spend some time in Taiwan and Cambodia with you and at the center. Um, I have a question that um, I haven't, haven't had a chance to ask, so I'm asking you. It, during the uh, sound, sometimes um, I feel as if I'm being pulled right up. Mm -hmm. uh, is that... Yes. Is that normal? Yes. I, I mean, at first it scared me, and then I was looking forward to it. And, no, it's good. And it's okay? Yes. Okay, thank Very you. Very okay. Thank you. It should be that way, yeah? Okay, go more. Oh, that's the last one from the back and then the front now. Otherwise, it's, uh, I'm shaking from their vibration. <laughs> oh, oh you, you just want to help, right? Okay, yes. Thank you, Master. My husband is, uh, is not initiated, but we getting along in this matter. I guess you're helping me a lot with him. He asked me a question, and uh, he don't believe in, in reincarnation. Mm -hmm. And he asked me that if, if there is a reincarnation, then when people die, uh, the other people still um, pray for them, you know, like praying for the soul yes. or the one that died. Yes. And if they reincarnate and they keep for years and years uh, uh, praying for that soul, uh, where is that soul that is already uh, in a body? Why they still uh, pray for them? The, what happened with that pray? Well, that's the problem of the living, not the dead. Well, if you I, want, I, you, I want, answer, I answer, you want to pray, you pray. Yeah, I answered this. Uh, that's why I want. Uh, Ask you if I am right. Yeah, you're right. Well, I told him that uh, no matter if the, if the soul reincarnates again in another body, that soul will catch that prey for that they are doing. You mm -hmm. know, no matter if they are in a body, that also they will receive that strength. They will, they will. That. Yes, yes, anyhow, yes. Because to reincarnate doesn't mean the soul dies. The soul is forever living, just in different body. So if you pray for anybody, it's also all right. Yeah, because it's the, the same, the same yeah, soul yeah. is eternal. So no yeah. matter where it is, yes. it, it, will, it will help. It will help him, so, yes. So he said that in that case, he was not going to uh, pray for anymore, <laughs> anybody anymore. Why? <laughs> because uh, he, didn't, he didn't want to pray for the live people. He wanted to pray for the dead for the, people. For only. The dead people. Oh, <laughs> how discriminating. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's his problem, okay? Okay. Yeah, okay. The second question is, Master, uh, you know, I'm living for 27 years in, in Costa Rica, but I'm I born in Puerto Rico. I am in Puerto Rican. So yes. uh, I always care for what happened Puerto over there. Puerto Ricans, yes. And uh, when you send the Kwan uh, message to, to, to let the message over there in Puerto Rico, uh, because it happened that my niece come to Costa Rica and she get initiation. So mm -hmm. with that connection, I went to help her over there in Puerto Rico, you Kwan Yin messenger. And there's a lot of people in Puerto Rico that they have a very high, I, in my understanding, right? Very high um, spiritual way, you know? It's a lot of people that are vegetarian. It's a big boom with the vegetarian over there. Mm -hmm. And when we put the, uh, the ad in the paper that there was going to be a uh, the old that seminar, you know? yeah. So a lot of people came and they like it the way it, they they like it, but most of them they were they were uh, work, uh, working in raking. Mm. Most they were they they were doing the raking. The what? 
Uh, healing. Okay. Yeah, they they heal with the hands yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah, that's all they knew. Yeah. So so they 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 get uh, they initiate only three persons, but there mm. was a lot, and they were waiting. They say they were gonna start keeping away that, so so they next time they will be ready for the initiation. Mm -hmm. So that was about uh, one year, and they are very. They want you to go there and, mm -mm. and make a big like you when you do in Mexico, remember what happened in Mexico, mm -hmm. you have so many people there mm -hmm. and about 500 persons, they initiate that, mm -hmm. it was a big thing, I would like to, in Puerto Rico, to help them, you know. We will see about that, <laughs> what that guy says. <laughs> <laughs> and yet I know how lonely life can be. The shadows follow me And the night 